Hello and welcome back to my channel which is AMS MBBS Lectures. This is the part 3 video of the same chapter that is Antimicrobial Agents and Antimicrobial Resistance guys. Take care. Already this chapter, ke, already two parts ke andar cover up kya tha. That is the Antimicrobial Agents in the part 1 where I have discussed the definition, the classification. Similarly part 2 wale video ke andar we have covered the Antimicrobial Resistance again the definition. The two main types that is acquired and interest, intrinsic resistance and usi ke saath humne cover up kya tha. That is mutational drug resistance and transferable drug resistance. Now, in this video, we are going to discuss the different mechanisms that are available for the bacteria to develop the resistance, guys. Take care. So, they are stating bacteria develops antimicrobial resistance by several mechanisms. Let me enumerate each mechanism that are possible. First one that is called as your decreased permeability across the cell wall. Second mechanism is called as your efflux pumps ka use karna. Third is something called as enzymatic um, inactivation and lastly we have by modifying the target sites guys. Okay? So these are the four important mechanisms that we are going to discuss in details in the upcoming slides. Let's start with the very first one that is called as decreased permeability across the cell wall. Now in this bacteria, hota hai, this, suppose I am just drawing a random okay, uh, image to illustrate this mechanism. So this bacteria hai, guys. Okay? Bacteria, now what is mechanism in this mechanism? The bacteria ke jo cell membrane is in the bacterial cell membrane, ke andar, there are certain channels present. Okay? Which channels are these? These are called as porin channels. So bacteria is going to make modifications in these channels. Okay? So bacteria jo hoti hai, it is going to modify this channel either in their frequency yani ki number okay porin channels ke number ko decrease kar sakta hai yahan par or you can say by altering the size of these channels theek hai size chota kar diya so that antimicrobial agents cannot enter inside ya to fir we can say or it can make changes in the selectivity of this channel selectivity of this channel theek hai to channel ki selectivity ke andar changes kar diya in logon ne so what is ultimately kya hoga ye sare to porin channels ke andar changes kiya hai in logon ne so that the antimicrobial agent jo hai wo bacteria ke andar enter na kar pae guys theek hai so that is the this mechanism i hope ye clear hai hum log ko ab now this mechanism is mainly seen in some gram negative bacteria guys let's have a look on the example over here so we have something that is called as your gram negative bacteria theek hai hum log ki jo gram negative bacteria hoti hai uske andar hum log ko dekhna hota hai can anyone name some gram negative bacteria very good, we have something that is called as the Pseudomonas. Then we also have something that is called as your Enterobacter. Pseudomonas, Enterobacter, then we also have the example of Klebsiella. Okay, in all gram-negative bacteria, we can appreciate the antimicrobial resistance by this mechanism against which drugs? Okay, drugs like imipenem. Okay, imipenem, aminoglycosides, and quinolones. I hope the first mechanism is very much clear till here with example, guys. Right? Let's jump towards the next one. That is by using the efflux pumps. Now, what happens here, guys? There are certain bacteria. Okay, some bacteria are there. Okay, not all. Certain bacteria are there. Which are having these efflux pump. Okay, certain bacteria are going to possess these efflux pump. Now, what is efflux pump? Ka kaam kya hota hai? Suppose I am drawing a bacteria over here. This bacteria, ke pe we have the efflux pump over here. Okay, and this is the antimicrobial agent I am showing over here with the help of this red dot. That is, this is an antimicrobial agent. By some reason, this is entry. Le li. So, what is the role of these efflux pump? The moment this antimicrobial agent enters inside, it is expelled outside. Do you get what I am trying to say? Expulsion of the antimicrobial agent soon after their entry. That is the role of this efflux pump. And this is how this mechanism works, guys. Take care. Certain bacteria are having these efflux pump. And what are these efflux pump doing, guys? They are going to mediate the expulsion. Take care. They are going basically mediating the expulsion. of the drugs soon after its entry of drugs soon after its 
entry okay soon after its entry inside the bacteria so this is the role of this efflux pump okay now this mechanism of uh, antimicrobial resistance is seen in various organisms against different drugs okay the first thing that we have to remember that is we have escherichia coli okay and some other enterobacteria members against tetracycline against tetracyclines and chloramphenicol yani ki escherichia coli and dusre enterobacteria family ke members they are having efflux pumps present theek hai which are basically active again these tetracyclines and chloramphenicol jaise drugs ke andar yani ki jaisi escherichia coli mein tetracycline enter hogi it is kicked outside or you can say it is expelled outside by the help of efflux pump dusra example lete hai the second set of example we can remember is we have the staphylococci we have staphylococci okay iske andar we have the resistance against macrolides and streptogramins theek hai to macrolides and streptogramins ke against aapko staphylococci mein aapko resistance dekhne milega सिमिलरली स्टेफिलोकोकस से आपको याद आएगा दैट इज समथिंग कॉल्ड एज वी हैव द मोस्ट कॉमन स्टेफाइलोकोकस कौन सा होता है वेरी गुड वी हैव स्टेफाइलोकोकस ऑरियस एंड मोस्ट कॉमन स्टेप्टोकोकस कौन होता है मोस्ट कॉमन स्टेप दैट इज स्टेप्टोकोकस निमोनिया ओके तो दीज बोथ बैक्टीरियाज ओके दे हैव इफ्लक्स पंप अगेंस्ट फ्लूरोक्विनोलोन्स ठीक है बोनो के अगेंस्ट दे हैव ओके इफ्लक्स पंप अगेंस्ट द फ्लूरोक्विनोलोन्स So I hope the examples of efflux pump is also clear. कैसे याद रखना है तो we can remember it as E T C. Okay, we can remember this as E T C. Or and the second set as S M S. ठीक है? और Staphylococcus से आपको last example भी याद आना चाहिए. That is the common Staphylococcus, Staphylococcus aureus, and the common step is Streptococcus pneumoniae. Both of them are having this resistance against the fluoroquinolones. Fluoroquinolones. Clear हो गए यहाँ पर? second mechanism is also clear let's jump towards the next one guys is the next one that is called as by enzymatic inactivation isme kya hota hai that is i am having a bacteria over here theek hai ye meri bacteria hai yahan par and this is the antimicrobial agent over here now due to some reason this antimicrobial agent has entered inside theek hai ab isme kya hoga enzymatic inactivation now the bacteria is going to produce some to ye mera antimicrobial agent hai now bacteria will produce some enzymes which is going to act on this antimicrobial agent and it is going to degrade it theek hai usko completely inactivate kar dega ye puri tarike se so that is the mechanism over here let's understand this concept with the help of some examples guys theek hai this let's understand this with the help of a table over here that is we can uh, see the name of the enzyme produced by which bacteria and the antibiotics jiske against ye resistance develop karega So we have the first enzyme over here that is called beta lactamases, which are very much act okay, which are produced by gram positive as well as gram negative bacteria, and they are okay acting against the beta lactam antibiotics. मतलब जो beta lactam हमारे antibiotics होते हैं ना, इनके structure में होता है something that is called as the beta lactam ring. Okay, they have something called as the beta lactam rings. So beta lactamases जो enzyme होती है, produced by both gram positive gram negative bacteria. इस बीटा लैक्टाम रिंग्स को क्या कर देती है तोड़ देती है गाइस इट ब्रेक्स द बीटा लैक्टाम रिंग्स प्रेजेंट इन द बीटा लैक्टाम एंटीबायोटिक्स एंड देयर बाय इनएक्टिवेट्स द एंटीबायोटिक एंड द सेकंड एग्जांपल ओवर हियर इज द अमीनो ग्लाइकोसाइड मॉडिफाइंग एंजाइम्स ठीक है अब ये जो सेट ऑफ एंजाइम्स है इसके अंदर एग्जांपल्स आते हैं वी हैव एसिटाइल ट्रांसफरेज वी हैव एडिनाइल ट्रांसफरेजेस एंड फॉस्फोट्रांसफरेजेस and these okay enzymes jo hai ye sare ke sare they are produced by gram positive and gram negative bacteria again and they are active against the amino glycosides theek hai amino glycosides ke against ye kaam karte hai guys last example if you want to remember that is your chloramphenicol acetyl transferase this is again okay produced specifically by the members of enterobacteriaceae family and uh, they are active against the chloramphenicol uh, antibiotic any problem they are basically matlab देखो एंटरोबैटरी के जो मेंबर्स होते हैं लाइक एस्टरेशिया कोला एंड अदर्स ओके दे आर गोइंग टू प्रोड्यूस दिस एंजाइम कॉल्ड क्लोरामफिनिकॉल एसिटाइल ट्रांसफरेज एंड दिस एंजाइम इज गोइंग टू डिस्ट्रॉय द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ दिस क्लोरामफिनिकॉल एंटीबायोटिक एनी प्रॉब्लम इन रिमेम्बरिंग दिस थिंग तो आई होप द थर्ड मैकेनिज्म इज ऑल्सो वेरी मच क्लियर दैट इज एंजाइमेटिक इन एक्टिवेशन ठीक है लेट्स जम्प टूवर्ड्स द लास्ट मैकेनिज्म दैट इज बाय मॉडिफाइंग दी टारगेट साइट 
नाउ फॉर एन एंटी माइक्रोबिल एजेंट टू एक्ट ओके वो बैक्टीरिया के अंदर एंटर करेगा ठीक है इट हैज टेकन दी एंट्री एंड नाउ इन ऑर्डर टू मीडिएट इट्स एक्शन इट हैज टू बाइंड टू अर टारगेट साइट है ना किसी ना किसी टारगेट साइट के साथ बाइंड करेगा एंड देन ओनली इट कैन मीडिएट इट्स एक्शन नाउ द बैक्टीरिया वॉट इज गोइंग टू डू इन ऑर्डर टू डेवलप द रेजिस्टेंस बैक्टीरिया विल से दैट लेट्स मेक सम चेंजेस इन द टारगेट साइट इट सेल्फ सो दैट एंटी माइक्रोवेल एजेंट वोट बी एबल टू बाइंड टू द टारगेट साइट डू गेट वॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से तो दिस इज द लास्ट मैकेनिज्म दैट इज टारगेट साइड को मॉडिफाई कर दो सो दैट एंटी माइक्रोवेल एजेंट उसमें बाइंड ना कर पाएगा अपना एक्शन मीडिएट नहीं करेगा लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग विद दी हेल्प ऑफ सम एग्जांपल्स गाइस ठीक है नाउ बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विद द एग्जांपल यू शुड नो समथिंग दैट इज कॉल्ड एज द बीटा लैक्टाम्स ठीक है अब ये जो बीटा लैक्टाम्स है हम लोगों की दीज एंटीबायोटिक्स बेसिकली दे आर सेल वॉल सिंथेसिस इनहिबिटर्स And is a uh, drug ke category ke under we have something that is called as your penicillins. We have penicillins. We have something that is called as the cephalosporins. Then we also have something that is called as your uh, monobactams. And carbapenems. Okay, carbapenems. So we have the carbapenem, monobactam, cephalosporins, and penicillins. These are all beta-lactam antibiotics, which are cell wall synthesis inhibitors. Let's start with the examples. Okay, that is how uh, the target site's modification is. Okay, starting with the very first example that you should never forget. That is called as your MRSA. What is this MRSA? It is something called as your methicillin. What is methicillin? Methicillin is a example of penicillin only. Okay, so methicillin. Resistant Staphylococcus aureus. What do we understand by this thing? That is, Staph aureus has developed resistance against the antibiotic that is methicillin. Methicillin is a penicillin. You should remember. Okay. अब ये modification कैसे हुआ? ये resistant कैसे develop हुआ? So basically, we are modifying the target site of methicillin. Do you get? स्टेफाइलोकोकस ऑरियस ने मेथिसिलिन के अगेंस्ट रेजिस्टेंस कैसे डेवलप किया बाय मॉडिफाइंग दी टारगेट साइट ऑफ मेथिसिलिन ठीक है मेथिसिलिन क्या है मेथिसिलिन इज अ टाइप ऑफ पेनिसिलिन एंड ओके पेनिसिलिन नॉर्मली किसी बैक्टीरिया के अंदर जब वो एंटर करता है व्हेन इट एंटर्स इनसाइड द बैक्टीरिया इट इज गोइंग टू बाइंड टू द टारगेट साइट ओके इट इज गोइंग टू बाइंड टू द टारगेट साइट यस और नो एंड व्हाट इज द टारगेट साइट इट इज समथिंग कॉल्ड एज पेनिसिलिन बाइंडिंग प्रोटीन राइट right? तो बेसिकली बैक्टीरिया के अंदर ये उसका पीवी भी प्रेजेंट होता है जिसमें पेनिसिलिन बाइंड करता है अपना एक्शन मीडिएट करता है दैट इज व्हाट इज कॉल्ड एज द सेल वॉल सिंथेसिस के इनहिबिट को करता है ठीक है इट इज बेसिकली गोइंग टू इनहिबिट द सेल वॉल सिंथेसिस दिस इज द नॉर्मल स्टोरी लाइन दैट आई एक्सप्लेन हो गई है लेकिन अगर मैंने बोला इसका टारगेट साइड मॉडिफाई हो गया यानी कि Penicillin binding protein gets modified to something that is called as a penicillin binding protein 2A. ठीक है एंड दिस ऑल्टर्ड टारगेट साइड दिस मॉडिफाइड टारगेट साइड इज कोडेड ओके इट इज कोडेड बाय अ जीन ओके इट इज कोडेड बाय अ जीन एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड एज योर मेक ए मेक ए जीन से कोडेड होता है ये तो अगर ये मॉडिफिकेशन हो गया किसके अंदर स ऑरियस में कभी ये मॉडिफिकेशन हो गया पी बी पी के जगह पे पी बी पी टू ए आ गया तो पेनेसिलिन यानी कि मेथिसिलिन के नॉट बाइंड टू दिस थिंग है ना इस इस पर्टिकुलर साइड पे बाइंड नहीं कर पाएगा एंड देर बाय इट विल फेल टू इनहिबिट द सिंथेसिस ओके इट विल फेल टू इनहिबिट द सेल वॉल सिंथेसिस एनी प्रॉब्लम इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग द फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एम आर एस ए गाइस राइट सिमिलरली वी हैव अनदर एग्जाम्पल एसोसिएटेड विद बीटा लैक्टम एंटीबायोटिक्स ठीक है Let's okay. Let me explain you the second example over here. Second example to explain for you. That is something we have uh, beta lactam resistance. Okay, again the first one is related. It is also related. That is beta lactam resistance in pneumococci. Okay, beta lactam uh, resistance in case of pneumococci. Pneumococci also called as streptococcus pneumonia. Now what will happen here? The target site will be. है ना बीटा लैक्टाम का जो टारगेट साइड होता है दैट इज योर 
PVP, penicillin binding protein, this thing gets modified to something that is called as your PBP2B. Do you get this thing? So, uh, uh, if I summarize this thing, that is, agar mera penicillin binding protein gets replaced with penicillin binding protein 2B se replace hota hai. So, I am talking about resistance in pneumococci. And if I say the same thing gets replaced with something that is called as your PBP2A, so we can simply remind of something called as methicillin resistance staph aureus, MRSA. Kya pehle do examples iske clear hai hum logo ko? Let's jump towards the next one guys, take care. That is or examples ke isko samajhte hai. Ab jo hum logo ka third and fourth example honne wala hai, we are going to discuss mainly about mycobacterium tuberculosis. Kiske baare mein baat karege? Mycobacterium tuberculosis and this is very common hai na, ye agent mein aap logo ko uh, resistance dekhna is very common. Take care. Two important resistance yaha pe mein add karunga guys. Ab streptomycin resistance kaise develop ho mycobacterium uh, tuberculosis mein? By something called as your modification of the ribosomal proteins. Ya to you can say your uh, 16S RNA. Okay, 16S RNA ke andar modification ke wajay se streptomycin resistance develop hota hai mycobacterium tuberculosis mein. Similarly, rifampicin resistance also gets developed in mycobacterium tuberculosis by what? By mutation in the RNA polymerase, guys. Okay? Okay, RNA polymerase mein mutation ho jayega. Uske wajay se aap loko resistance dekhne milega. Done with this example as well. Then, let me add more examples to this thing, guys. Fifth example to this uh, mechanism, that is quinolone resistance. Okay, quinolone resistance jo hota hai, ye mainly aapko gram-positive bacteria mein dekhna milta hai. Okay, if anyone remembers gram-negative bacteria like Pseudomonas, Enterobacter, Klebsiella, kaun sa mechanism hota hai? Decreased permeability across the cell wall. Okay, the first mechanism jo na discuss kiya tha. Right now, we are going to talk about the gram-positive bacteria, guys. Gram-positive bacteria like have the uh, Staphylococcus aureus. Okay, we also have something that is called as the Streptococcus pneumoniae. Hai na, aise type ki jo gram-positive bacteria hoti hai, इसके अंदर भी इनके टारगेट साइड में मॉडिफिकेशन होता है एंड वी कैन सी समथिंग दैट इज कॉल्ड एज योर क्विनोलोन रेजिस्टेंस ठीक है क्विनोलोन रेजिस्टेंस क्या मॉडिफिकेशन हुआ किसका मॉडिफिकेशन हुआ यहां पर ड्यू टू म्यूटेशन इन द डीएनए गाइरेज एंजाइम ठीक है डीएनए गाइरेज एंजाइम के अंदर मॉडिफिकेशन हो गया उस वजह से आपको क्विनोलोन रेजिस्टेंस देखने मिलता है इन ग्राम पॉजिटिव बैक्टीरिया लाइक स्टेफाइलोकोकस ऑरियस एंड स्टेप्टोकोकस निमोनिया ओके द लास्ट एग्जांपल अंडर दिस मैकेनिज्म वी कैन रिमेंबर इज ऑफ वीआरई गाइस ठीक है वैंकोमाइसिन रेजिस्टेंस इन एंटेरोकोकाई ठीक है वीआरई दैट इज वैंको माइसिन रेजिस्टेंस in enterococci means enterococci ne resistance develop ke against vancomycin how is this thing possible ye resistance kaise develop hua by modification of the vancomycin ke target side mein modification ho jana okay modification in its target side of the vancomycin so vancomycin ka jo target side hota hai na guys usko you have to remember the modification in the target side in the dialanine D-alanine side chain of peptidoglycan. So that is it for this session. I hope the four mechanisms are very much clear to each and every one of us guys. So that is it for this session guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this content useful, then do like, share and subscribe to my channel, which is AMS MBBS Lectures. Till that time, if you have any questions or queries, do comment down. I am there to answer it guys. See you on the next one. Till that time, keep studying, keep learning. Bye-bye.